Hi everyone. Today we're going to go through how Remote's Employer Record Service can help you hire, manage, and pay global employees with ease. I'm Dennis, and I'm a solutions consultant here at Remote, and I'll be taking you through how you can get started at Remote, transparent global hiring costs, and how you can easily onboard people on the Remote platform. But to kick things off, uh, you're most likely here because you're, uh, you may be experiencing challenges hiring internationally and you're looking for a solution. Some of these challenges includes being compliant with local laws and regulations, managing payroll and staying up to date with, uh, with it all. Remote helps remove that complexity for you by taking on in-country legal responsibilities and operations so you can focus on your business. We want to simplify your hiring and expansion so there's less administrative work for you. And the way we do that is by providing a global infrastructure through our platform. From that platform, you can hire globally without legal entities, access to experts within legal, tax, and payroll to help you with local regulations, and get ahead of your budgeting by comparing hiring costs between countries. Now, you're on the right track as many of you are either looking at expansion or already have a new hire in mind that you would like to extend an offer to. So what we're going to do today is to show you more of how that platform can help you with that. And I want to start with where you might start in a process, which is you want to hire someone in a country you're not familiar with when it comes to hiring and you want to understand more as well as if remote, remote supports hiring within that country. And that is where our Country Explorer Guide comes in. And if you go to remote.com, you'll find our Country Explorer Guide at the very top. And it lists all countries that are available at remote and whether we can hire them as an employee or as a contractor. I'm based in Sweden, so I'm just going to use Sweden as an example. And we can quickly see that we offer uh, um, global employment services or uh, contractor management for Sweden. If we click into the country page itself, it's here for, for you to keep yourself informed about the country for things like, you know, the time it takes for us to onboard somebody in that country, uh, things like public holidays or annual leave or what a termination process might look like. So make sure that you use our country explorer to keep yourself informed so you're able to make confident decisions. Now, a lot of you most likely have a hired mind already, and you may be in the last few steps of the process and currently exploring how you can hire them compliantly, but also what uh, the total cost of employment for that country will be. We understand that budgeting is very important to you, and I want to log into remote now to show you how you can find that information. Once you've uh, created an account, accepted our terms of service, uh, this is the landing page that you're going to get to. And for easy access, everything is on our left-hand side. And I'm going to go ahead and click on our cost calculator. I'm going to choose Sweden and the employer billing cur currency as US dollars. And the gross annual salary uh, uh, can be put down in the local currency for the country that you want to hire in. Or of course, if you'd rather look at the conversion and look at your own currency, you can do that as well. So we're going to put 50,000 uh, US dollars here and click on begin estimate. Once you're here, you can see the full breakdown uh, on a monthly total cost or an annual total cost, which also includes all of the mandatory employer costs and all the line items and, and what that includes and what the fee will be. Um, in terms of the uh, remote uh, management fee, you can toggle here up here between monthly and annual to see uh, what that price change uh, will be. And of course, um, you know some some country specific information, which would be the onboarding timeline in Sweden, which is uh, which has a minimum onboarding time of uh, three days, and then the hiring in Sweden guide. With when you click on that. That's again going to take you to the country specific page uh, within our country explorer. Now, if I jump back here, 
and say that you are either looking at hiring uh, a full-time employee either in Sweden or possibly Finland. And it's very easy to look at uh, look at that and compare costs by clicking on adding another estimate. And again, we're going to choose Finland here, and we're going to do the conversion, and then click on Add Estimate. And similar to above, we can get the monthly total costs as well as annual total costs, see what the mandatory employer costs will be, get a full breakdown of that for each and every line item, um, you know, the onboarding timeline for Finland or the minimum onboarding timeline that is. Uh, but more importantly, what's the total cost of employment on an annual basis? And we can quickly see that uh, there are some savings to be made if you were to hire a person with that same salary in Finland compared to Sweden. So if you do have a hard limit, uh, use the cost calculator to inform your recruitment strategy as well as financial forecasts. But now you have someone on the hook and they've accepted your offer and it's time to onboard them. And I think this is where remote really stands out as we make it as simple as possible for you to hire anyone uh, compliantly. So we can click on the onboarding tab here, which again uh, is on the left-hand side menu, and then click on add a new hire. And we're going to choose your employee. Country is going to be Sweden, and they are a citizen. Now we can press continue. Um, fill in their details. And email. job title, and then provisional start date. And I think that this is where, um, you know, uh, our uh, system kind of adapts uh, depending on the country that you're looking to onboard this employee in. And so if you ever need uh, additional assistance, we always include these little prompts uh, that are country specific. And in this case, the minimum onboarding time for Sweden is three working days, which means that within the next three working days, uh, you are not able to select those because it's not possible to hire them uh, that quickly. So that means that the earliest date would be April 4. Press continue and then contract details. And again, you know, the product at remote is really what differentiates us. And there's always sort of embedded intelligence into the platform to help guide you to country specific requirements so that you're always compliant with local laws and regulations. So in this case, uh, we can see that it says, please enter a value between zero and six months. And if that's because six months is the legal maximum in Sweden, the full-time employee, the annual salary again, it's $50,000. And again, there's a possibility to add, uh, you know, any type of signing bonus or other types of bonus that you'd like to add on here uh, if there's any sort of a commission structure uh, and then equity equity might be a huge part of, of compensation that you provide for uh, your employees and I think it's important for you to know that remote is able to help you with any tax implications including uh, withholding and reporting to relevant authorities so there's no issues for you offering equity to employees hired via an employer record service. So we're going to add some information here. Cliffs will be 12 months and the vesting period is over four years. Number of paid, uh, paid time off days. And if you're ever sort of setting anything that is um, uh, below the statutory minimum, uh, the system will alert you of that. Um, and in this case, the minimum will be 25 uh, paid time off days. Role description, supervisor name, and role, and then the experience level that the employee is in. Termination notice period, and again, uh, in Sweden, it's uh, somewhere between one to three months. And then we get to the benefits part. Uh, benefits may be more or less important depending on the country that you're hiring in. 
And depending on country, there may be various options for you to choose from. So do pay attention to the benefits available in each country. And if you're ever unsure, make sure to contact remote and uh, we will help you with that. The philosophy that remote takes on benefits is to offer competitive benefits packages. So you're able to attract and retain the best talent, no matter where they live. We have benefit specialists who research all local markets in order to craft best in class benefits packages. And lastly, uh, remote benefits from large uh, group plans, which means that we can offer you uh, competitive rates for very comprehensive coverages. So once you select that and continue and send through that invite, then that kind of goes into that employee side and that they need to fill in uh, some information from their side. If you're unsure where we are in the onboarding process, you can always go back into the main menu, click on onboarding, and you can sort of see the progress and where we are. And if you need additional details and or, or um, uh, granularity, you can click on the three dots on the right hand side and click on view status. And that kind of takes you through step by step, whether it's on your side to take action, it's on the employee side to take action, or if it's on remote side to take action. And you can quickly sort of see uh, whose responsibility it is and who you need to reach out to if not. A few additional things I want to show you um, on the uh, uh, left hand side menu, we're going to go to payment methods. And it's very simple here. Click on add payment method and you can uh, set up the option of paying via direct debit or a credit card. So simply follow the steps uh, but then depending on how you want to pay. Now, it may be that you have several people who need access on the remote uh, into the remote platform, but it may be that they shouldn't all have admin functionality. And it's important to know that under company settings and then users and permissions, there are different types of user types so that you're able to invite people that can view different things. If they're is a need to set some some limitation to it. Simply click on invite, fill in the details, and then select a team member role. And if you're ever unsure, again, we have little prompts that you can click on to see uh, more detail about what a viewer can do, what a people manager can do, and so forth. So in this case, you can invite people manager that oversees a direct team um, that can also easily approve uh, time off or expenses or anything like that. So again, on the left hand side menu, you can easily go in here and see whether there is any new requests for paid uh, uh, time off or any of the past uh, requests that has been uh, approved already. If you ever want to, um, you know, look at it in this in a different angle you can always export any kind of information here whether it's expenses or or in this case time off into a csv file that you can open up uh, and have a look at it uh, in your own time in terms of integrations uh, we can separate them into uh, two buckets one is the api where there's more customization possible, but requires that you have resources to build a connection uh, to remote open API. We also have what I would call our plug and play. So they're much easier to get started with. Um, and the integrations into Bamboo HR, Greenhouse, HiBob, and Zapier. And Zapier, if you're unfamiliar, helps you connect different apps and systems very easily. As long as the system that you are using is connected to Zapier. So, you know, if you are using your own systems, you're looking to avoid that double work, uh, make sure that you look into our integrations uh, tab and uh, set up the functions that you would like to set up. A few things left to show you. Um, one is the marketplace. And uh, the marketplace, uh, what that is, is as, as a remote customer, there are some perks that you're able to access uh, depending on what you are looking for. So have a look into 
all the various partners that we have, whether it's the talent marketplace or remote partner marketplace, um, you know, what they do in terms of background management, for example, or banking, uh, co-working spaces, etc. cetera. Um, so as an example, if you're looking for an equity uh, management system as a remote customer, uh, you get 20% off your first year's plan when you are using Carta. Now, the last section I want to cover is the uh, help center. And there are a few uh, different ways in, in, in getting support. Um, one is the self-serve way, which you can access in the uh, with the little question mark icon here at the uh, top uh, right-hand side. And then click into Help Center. From this Help Center, um, you can find all the self-serve articles that you can read through and uh, get the help that you need very quickly by finding the article yourself. Some of the other ways that you can get help is of course through the chat and while the first step here for the chat uh, is a bot um, by uh, writing or, or pressing this button here by talking to a human you can get access to uh, one of our user happiness members and uh, very quickly to respond the last month the average sort of first response time is somewhere between one to two minutes so uh, make sure that you leverage our chat if there's any clarification or support you need uh, in regards to the platform itself. Uh, the final thing I want to show you in regards to support is that sometimes you have, you know, uh, much more specific questions uh, that you're looking to get answers for. And we can find that on the left-hand side menu under requests. What you can get help with in terms of requests is that we can click on the request types and you can quickly see what uh, they are. But it might be that you have questions about an employee termination uh, or maybe, um, you know, they uh, received a promotion or they switched roles internally and say we need to amend the employment agreement. And rather than going through the chat or other types of, of support channels, uh, the easiest way here is to use the request. And the request means that the um, the question or the what you would like to do goes straight straight and directly to the right team at remote to deal with it, rather than having a ticket being rerouted to the right team. So various ways, whether it's chat through our self served help center or through the requests. Uh, and when in doubt, you can always uh, reach out to your uh, remote contact person as well. Now, that's the overview I have for you today. Um, there's a lot more things to, to, to show, of course. But if you ever have any questions, uh, make sure you uh, reach out to, to us and we will be able to help answer all of your questions. I want to thank you for taking your time today and best of luck.